What do you get when you combine an unstoppable drive, a touch of controversy, and millions of dollars? You get the NBA's newest villain, Dylan Brooks. This young basketball star has turned the chip on his shoulder into a whirlwind of fame and fortune, but not without a few bumps along the way. From humble beginnings to courtside chaos, Dylan Brooks has crafted a captivating narrative that keeps fans and haters alike hooked. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and let's spill the tea on this bad boy's journey to infamy. Dylan Brooks was born on January 22, 1996, in Mississauga, Ontario. From an early age, he showed a love for basketball, thanks to his mother, Anita Diane Brooks, who pushed him to excel in the sport. She recognized his thirst for one-on-one -on -one attention and fueled his passion by providing sports magazines to help him overcome his reading disability, and thus, the foundation of a future basketball star was laid. Growing up, young Dylan wasn't satisfied with being just another Canadian stereotype. He wanted to flip the script and prove that Canadian basketball players can bring the heat. Despite some extra pounds, his determination and obsession with winning set him on a collision course with destiny. Who said athletes have to be all abs and biceps anyway? Fast forward to his college days, where Dylan Brooks conquered the basketball courts at Finley Prep and the University of Oregon. He led the Ducks to glory, snatching up awards left and right. And when the NBA came calling, he didn't hesitate. The Houston Rockets drafted him, but destiny had other plans. The Memphis Grizzlies swooped in for the steal, and the rest is history. Over the last four years, Dylan has been arguably the best one-on-one -on -one defender in the entire league. His ability to lock down all-star players is unmatched, and not only does he spend more time guarding the best opposing players, but he also forces them to shoot 10% worse than their average efficiency. That's the best mark in the NBA, folks. And now to the juicy part. Let's dive into the controversy that has surrounded Dylan Brooks, earning him the title of the NBA's newest villain. Dylan Brooks didn't just bring his A-game to the court, he brought controversy and chaos. His aggressive style and trash-talking ways have made him a favorite among the haters. Brooks is no stranger to technical fouls, holding the record for the most among all players. This season alone, he has already been thrown out of the game twice and amassed fines totaling $253,242 for his unsportsmanlike behavior. One of the most notable incidents involved a clash with the Golden State Warriors. Dylan Brooks vs. Steph Curry Defense vs. Offense Trash Talk vs. Three-Pointers the rivalry between Brooks and the Warriors had ignited a fire in the NBA that shows no signs of extinguishing. It all started with Andre Iguodala, who was traded to Memphis but never played a game for the team. Brooks had some choice words for him, hoping to send him back to the Warriors. And when the Grizzlies faced the Warriors in the playoffs, things got heated. In that series, Brooks committed a flagrant foul that resulted in Gary Payton II breaking his elbow. The Warriors retaliated when Jordan Poole injured John ja Morant, and the bad blood has been brewing ever since. This ongoing beef between Brooks and the Warriors has created a modern-day rivalry that keeps fans on the edge of their seats. That doesn't stop there. Imagine you're an NBA superstar like Klay Thompson, a part of a championship-winning team, and here comes Dylan Brooks, the cocky, loud-talking player who's in your face all game long. It might be annoying for some, but that's exactly what Brooks wants. The more he trash talks, the better he plays. Clay Thompson was so mad at Dylan Brooks that he had to put four fingers up in the air, as if it was the only argument left to show who had the upper hand. But guess what? Brooks won that battle. You see, when you're dealing with an instigator like Brooks, the worst thing you can do is show them that you care. And Clay fell right into that trap. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Clay and the Warriors have four championship rings, while Brooks has zero. That's true, but let me tell you something. Dylan Brooks might not have the hardware, but he's making a name for himself. And once he retires, mark my words, people will remember him. You see, every sport needs a villain, and Brooks is currently wearing that badge in the NBA. The more people keep saying his name, the more his value rises. And true NBA fans have known about Brooks for quite some time now. But wait, folks, 
We know Brooks has made quite a name for himself with all those infamous incidents, but who is he really when he's not dribbling that ball? Beyond the basketball court, Dylan Brooks leads a life that's as intriguing as his on-court persona. He's known for keeping his personal life private, but rumors and controversies still manage to surface. Believe it or not, our bad boy Dylan Brooks is a good old Canadian boy at heart. But don't judge a book by its cover, my friends. He may be Canadian, but he carries himself like a true rebel. And let's not forget, every NBA star has a personal life. Let's spill some tea on Dylan Brooks' love life, shall we? Brooks' girlfriend, known as Big Bambina, is a model who has caught the attention of fans and media alike. But they've kept it under lock and key. Not even public displays of affection. And guess what? There are no children shared between Brooks and Bambina. But Brooks does have a daughter named Mila from a previous relationship. Now the rumor mill has been churning, suggesting that Big Bambina is transgender. But hold on to your hats because Big Bambina shut down those rumors real quick. She recently took to Instagram and dropped her birth certificate bombshell, proving that she is, indeed, a natural-born woman. Now, how did those scandalous accusations even come about? Some fans believe the media cooked it all up to smear our beloved bad boy Brooks. But above everything else, let's talk about the green that accompanies the notoriety. Dylan Brooks' net worth is estimated to be in the millions, thanks to his NBA contracts and endorsement deals. He has earned a total of $3,812,377 in his career, and recently signed a lucrative three-year, $35 million contract extension. His success on and off the court solidifies his status as a rising star in the NBA. Also, rumor has it that behind Dylan Brooks' fierce on-court persona lies a $1.2 million mansion in the luxurious Lambsbrook Lane in Collierville. He's also known to own a luxurious car collection including a Land Rover Defender, which comes with a price tag of almost $95,000, a Porsche Panamera worth ninety-seven dollars and a Range Rover worth one hundred and four dollars Can you imagine the lavish lifestyle he's leading? As we wrap up this sizzling expose on Dylan Brooks' life, riches, and net worth, we can't help but admire the incredible journey this NBA star has taken. From his jaw-dropping skills on the court to his extravagant lifestyle off it, Dylan Brooks is the epitome of success. Whether he is the newest NBA villain or not, at the end of the day, he's doing something right, he's keeping us entertained, and he's making a name for himself in the league. Alright folks, that's a wrap. Let us know in the comments what you think about Dylan Brooks. Is he the NBA's newest villain, or is he just misunderstood? And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our exciting basketball content. Until next time, stay ballin'.